we see Stacy entering the front door to Film Co. As she walks in, she sees Chad and Carlos standing around in the middle of the store. Hey guys, come here real quick. I have something to show you. What? Just come on. The guys decide to follow Stacy. They end up going to the far corner of the store and standing in a circle. What's going on? Better be quick. I've got to get back to, to, to do, doing nothing. I've been thinking about what you said, actually, Carlos. There's a noticeable emptiness in this place. Well, yeah. Why would anybody come in here? Exactly. Video rental hasn't been relevant for the better half of the last decade. Well, our customers might not be as young as us, but they're loyal. I always see the same people coming back for more movies. But that's the problem. It's only ever those same people. I haven't been here very long, but you would think that I would have seen at least one new person every day, right? Why do you care? None of us have any stake in this place, least of all you. You like having a job, right? <laughs> Honestly? The only reason I come in here is precisely because of the lack of work. The fewer people that come in this store means less work for me. My head is absolutely spinning right now. Come on, guys. Let's be serious. If Filmco goes out of business, then not only are we all out of jobs, but a little piece of the past dies too. If we aren't able to come up with a plan to save this place in two months, where we're standing will just be another coffee shop instead of Filmco. All right, so what do you suggest? Should we try to get a larger supply of newer movies or something? Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to renovate this place to any useful degree. Film rental as a service is practically dead these days. Then there has to be something else. Stacy looks over and sees that Carlos has become completely disinterested in the conversation. Instead, he is watching a movie on his phone. I, I think I've got an idea. Let's hear it. What if instead of relying solely on physical rentals, we could also provide an online service that allows you to stream our collection of movies? That way, people could access all of our available movies online, but if they wanted to, they could still come in and pick up a physical copy instead. That's actually not a terrible idea. Carlos puts his phone away. Yes, it is. It might actually be the worst idea that I've ever heard. There's no way you're going to be able to compete with the already established services. We quite literally will be going up against streaming sites with millions and millions of users. Around here, we have a word for this kind of an idea. Impossible. Carlos walks away. As much as I hate to give him credit, Carlos might be right. Stacy, I mean, there's no way we can compete with the big names. What if we weren't trying to compete with the big names? I'm not following. Think about it. Film Co. survived all these years despite the big national rental stores providing the same service. How did that work? Well, Film Co. was only designed to appeal to this specific locale. It was never intended to compete with... Oh, I think I get what you're saying. If we can market our streaming service to this town specifically, we can completely cut out the problem of competing with the big streaming sites by appealing to the local sense of community and small town togetherness. In the distance, Carlos pops out from between two shelves. That actually might work. No kidding. I'm actually shocked nobody's thought about this before. Does that mean you'll come to Ryan with me and talk to him about it? You know I will. Just not today. I've got to leave early. I'm busy pretending to work all day tomorrow. Let me know how it goes, I guess. All right then, Chad. It's just you and me then tomorrow. We'll talk to Ryan about our idea and see how he takes it. Maybe we should talk to him about Carlos, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the guy. It's just, if we're actually serious about innovation, I'm not sure he should come along for the ride. The two part ways and go back to their daily routine and mentally begin to prepare to approach Ryan about the future of Filmco.